Bear's family of 13 years moved abroad and left her behind, which is enough to give anyone trust issues, but she hasn't given up on finding love. It's time for her to start her journey to adoption with Spirit of the Dog Rescue. Being an older lady, we really didn't want her to have to go through the kennel process. This meant getting a really good chunk of her assessments done while she was still with her temporary caregiver, Jess, who handed her in to us all in preparation for her going to an experienced foster home. Bear was winning the hearts of everyone she met in the office at Rinse FM, where she was going every day to work with Jess. Whilst Jess did have a timescale in mind of how long she would have Bear, we're really grateful that she extended it to give us plenty of time to get to know her. Bear is a very resilient dog and she was taking everything in her stride. She's used to living in the city, as well as living in a house share environment with different people coming and going. One of the things she did was visit Behaviourist Donna in a busy family household, which is also a controlled environment that can be used to replicate lots of things in everyday life. Donna's children are very dog savvy and they're used to assisting in rescue dog assessments for another organisation all the time. Under Donna's qualified, watchful eye, Bear was able to meet them. Another important part of assessments is to do with health and pain management. Bear is a little bit older, she does seem to have some arthritis in her joints and she's been bred from. She's quite saggy underneath and she's got some lumps in her mammary glands which will need to be removed and tested. Every dog to come through the doors of Spirit of the Dog Rescue has their own personalised wellbeing team made up of qualified professionals whose experience suits their needs. To meet Bear's team, find out how she got on moving into foster care and what she's looking for in her future forever home, come back for part three. We can't rescue dogs like Bear without your help, so please donate if you can.